We are the Elrod family. We absolutely love to travel, and this time our travel adventure is taking us on an Alaskan cruise. We start our journey in Vancouver, Canada, and we make our way onto the Princess Cruise and then get to explore Ketchikan before turning around and heading back to Seattle. So come along and do not forget to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss all of the amazing fun that we're going to have. Well, we finally made it on board. Um, it actually was a really easy process. We um, arrived at the port building. Um, our Uber driver had a little bit of trouble figuring out where to drop us off. Uh, he kept on trying to drop us off like below the street level, kind of where the crew and everybody gets on. But we were like, I think we're supposed to be up there where those cruise ships are and the buildings. So. He went up there, dropped us off in front of the hotel convention center. You go around the convention center towards the back, kind of like where the ship is docked. And um, you just see a long line. And the line for the Majestic was really long. It was um, all the way down the hallway. But the Crown Princess line, they had us go around them and it was a shorter line. But once you get into the convention center room, it was like, holy moly. There was millions of people, it seemed like, just waiting there. And we were wondering, like, is this gonna, <laughs> how long is this going to be? Apparently, if you get your medallion ahead of time, then you don't have that problem. So definitely order your medallion to come to your house ahead of time because that line was crazy. When they found out we had our medallion and our luggage tags, we got to go straight up to the front. They took our luggage, and then we went around to this other line that was really short, maybe like 20 people. <laughs> that was it. And we got our medallions checked in um, and then went around the back of that downstairs to customs, went through the line at customs. They checked our bags and through security and all that, um, did the declaring, blah, 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 uh, checking the passports, and then went straight to another area. We went downstairs and got on the ship. It was super fast. Once we got on, they um, checked our medallions again and then we figured it was going to be forever waiting for an elevator to come up to the room but also that was no problem we hit deck 12 and here we are so um i'm going to give you a little bit of a room tour here so right when you walk in the room you have this giant closet space it's literally like a walk-in closet it's massive and then you have the bathroom. The bathroom is also very nice and roomy. Um, behind the bathroom door is the safe, another closet, etc. cetera. Um, it's a giant full length mirror here, which is great for my outfits that I brought. We had them separate the bed into two different twin beds so that way I don't kick my mother all night long um, but that that is open to whatever you prefer so TV a nice writing desk and all the space that you could want here it's just I could like work out here there's so much space down below here is a mini fridge I don't know why you would need that but maybe if you have like small children or something or brought your own drinks, because you can bring your own drinks. I just didn't. 
um, more storage, plenty of storage, tons of storage. And of course, our amazing balcony. Mom's hanging out on the balcony. It's a little noisy right now while they're loading, but gosh, it's going to be so amazing just to have that available to us when we're out at sea, watching all the beautifulness, hoping to see some wildlife. So um, I'm not sure what the plan is yet, but we will figure out what we're going to do. We ate lunch already, so I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to get on board, so we didn't want to have to be grumpy and standing in line and hungry. So we ate at a little cafe, and now we're going to go do something fun. dinner reservations for Sabatini's that night. It is actually a restaurant that you have to pay extra to go to, but it was so worth it. All the food was really good. I think that this was probably our favorite restaurant of the entire cruise, and the view getting to watch us pull out of port was really neat. This restaurant has an Italian theme and five courses to your meal. So we were definitely stuffed by the end of it. That night we were exhausted, so we went and checked out what was happening around the ship but we just took a look and then headed to bed. Good morning, we are bright and early this morning. I decided I wanted to go to the gym, so I went up there and it was closed till seven, so yeah. Here I am getting my outdoor gear on. I went ahead and went outside to go check out the scenery because the sun is just barely starting to rise and it looks really pretty, but it's drizzling and freezing. My hands are frozen, so went back to the room, got my raincoat, scarf, and hat. I'm gonna go try again. out I had breakfast ordered and sent to our room via room service this is actually included at no extra charge well the workout is complete and we are having coffee and tea on our beautiful balcony overlooking this amazing mountains just waiting for some wildlife to pop up mm. this place is just amazing I think I'm in love. <laughs>
gosh. After experiencing our own amazing orcas, we went down to see Mark Harris tell us a little bit about whales. This was such a fun experience and really informative. I definitely recommend everybody to go see him. He eats all night long. Now folks, we're not gonna let him rest. We're gonna capture him and do our science on him. So what we've done is we put a pink dart of Valium in him to mildly sedate him and she's going to pull the dart out and once she pulls the dart out we throw the net over his head and then i jump on him <laughs> now we're going to hold this seal down we're going to bring the nitrous oxide out we're going to put a cone over his nose and mouth we're going to put him to sleep that's when we're going to weigh and measure him take blood and skin samples and then we're going to glue a satellite tag tracking tag right onto his fur well, here comes the nitrous oxide, and that cone goes over his nose and mouth. Now, take a look. Who's getting more gas, me or the seal? <laughs> Folks, and a heart-shaped blow. So, three types of whales. The best time to see these whales is January to March in the islands of Hawaii. That afternoon, the water was pretty rough, so we took it easy and just wandered around the ship and relax in our room. There is lots to do on the ship, but most of it was things that we weren't really interested in doing, like gambling, but that's okay. We still enjoyed our scenery. That night we had dinner at the Michelangelo dining room and it was pretty good. We enjoyed our dinner, but we were again, very tired. Thanks for joining us aboard the Crown Princess for our first sea day. We have so much more to come, so definitely subscribe. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to catch all the vlogs from our five day cruise where we give all of the tips, tricks, and comparisons to our two Disney cruises and our fun day in Ketchikan, Alaska. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a moment of our amazing Alaskan cruise adventure. See you in our next video.